Mastering Leading Questions, English Language Learning. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into an interesting aspect of conversational English, leading questions. These are the type of questions that subtly guide the respondent towards a particular answer. Mastering these can give your English a powerful boost and help you navigate conversations more efficiently. Let's dive in. A leading question is one that encourages a person to give a particular answer, often because the question already suggests what that answer should be. It's often used in situations where the questioner wants to guide the conversation in a specific direction. For example, consider the question, you didn't like the movie, did you? This question is leading because it suggests that the speaker believes the person didn't enjoy the movie, and it guides them towards agreeing. Constructing leading questions in English involves certain linguistic cues and techniques. 1. Negative constructions. This is a common way to form a leading question. For instance, you don't like broccoli, do you? The question is framed in a way that it assumes the person dislikes broccoli. 2. Choice of words. By choosing specific words, you can guide a response. How wonderful was the concert? Leads to positive feedback. 3. Question tags. Tags like, isn't it? Don't you? Etc. at the end of sentences are used to confirm the speaker's beliefs, thus creating leading questions. Now, let's practice creating leading questions in different scenarios. 1. At the cinema, that was the best movie of the year, wasn't it? 2. In a restaurant, this dish is quite spicy, isn't it? 3. At a music concert, the band played amazingly well, didn't they? 4. In a debate or argument, you're not suggesting we should ignore the evidence, are you? Remember, the intent of a leading question is to subtly guide the respondent towards a particular answer or viewpoint. Now it's your turn. Practice constructing leading questions based on different scenarios. It's a great way to refine your language skills and understand the nuances of conversation. And remember, it's not just about the question, it's about guiding the conversation. That's it for our exploration of leading questions today. I hope you now have a clear understanding of what they are, how to construct them, and how to use them effectively in your English conversations. Remember, practice is the key to mastering this skill. So, keep practicing and keep learning. Until next time, happy language learning.